and sustainability as part of our portfolio. We've actually been uh, doing this project um, for close to 10 years, and during that time, lots of discussion of, of the U.S. taking uh, CO2 emission reduction targets. And my boss, Craig Venner, just said, you know, this is the right thing to do. And I remember when we were talking about it very early on with Craig Venter. And we said, you know, if we're going to do this net zero thing, we started talking about it. I put it out there. Let, why don't we do this as a net zero? Because Craig was saying, I want this building to have the lowest impact. And I'm really concerned about climate change and carbon and all these things. And Craig really wanted to build a building that walked the, you know, walked the talk in terms of uh, performance. He also wanted a building that would really teach other people how to do green buildings. And he likened it, you know, he went to school at UCSD. You know, the Salk Institute is right down the street. You know, what Salk did was really create a lab environment that was incredibly flexible, you know, great environment to do research in. The idea of this building was how do I take that to the next step, both in terms of flexibility but also building performance. And so the idea came very quickly that he wanted to do a net zero energy laboratory building, which hadn't been done. Then people like UCSD teach them or prove to them that you can do at buildings that are, you know, net zero, very, very sustainable. Craig wanted to make sure, the Institute wanted to make sure that we were applying all of the most advanced thinking from around the world. We were gleaning practices from all over the world. And then when we went to the construction phase, um, before we even got the contractors on site, we actually met with the contractors and explained. Uh, we it basically took a whole day. Uh, Bob Friedman came out and gave a talk about what does the Venter Institute do to explain to the contractors that this is not your normal building. This is something that is unique. This is something you should take pride in because of the science that's going inside. And then, then we spoke about this is what the building's gonna do. So someone from ZGF spoke a little bit about the nature and impact of the building, and then we talked about the mechanical electrical plumbing systems and how unique they were gonna be. And I think that started to help get the contractors on board to understand what they were building and why some of the systems they were seeing aren't typical for what you would see in a California building. It starts with a vision, and that is, we want to do something really special. How can we do that? It's not, let's do a standard building and incrementally improve it. It was much more of, we're going to do something that is a big step change, a really, asp very much of an aspirational goal. Yes, at the end of the day, the building that was built looks a lot different than the building that we originally designed. We did need to refine it, improve it, improve the price and the, lower the cost and all those things that we need to do. But the aspirational goal never went away.